So I did a little poking around just for fun. And I we know this Kali is the main character. And we know that Corona in Latin is crown. So what did I find? Kali and COVID invoking the goddess. Wow. Now why would somebody write that in English? Because Kali is a Hindu god. Yes, the worshiper too. They just changed their name to Lilith. Or whatever else, you know. See, here's the dumb Gentiles. Excuse me. I don't mean Gentiles. The dumb Christians. Um, and a lot of a lot of Gentiles. Um, and a lot of people don't even know this exists because most today are atheists. They don't care because they don't get into that whole, oh, we are victims. They don't get into the whole Yahweh thing. So I didn't mean that as a slur to anybody because I don't claim my heritage. Oh, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. If I did, I wouldn't be making these videos. Why, why would somebody write that? Kali and COVID. Why would they do that? Because they know the two are combined. So the COVID is invoking the goddess. Was didn't that what that's saying? Kali and COVID invoking the goddess. That's very, very telling. What's this down here? Kali's crown. Wow. Kali's corona. Well, we all know it's about her, right? Isn't it interesting that a Hindu goddess would be holding this, this Saturnian symbol? Because if we just do this right here, or we could even do it like this, maybe a little bit better. See, they, they always do this. They do this with Dish TV, too. You see how it makes the rings of Saturn? Um, I'm just giving you an optical. Why is this woman carrying this thing that ha looks like the rings of Saturn? Because she, that's her. Remember Y2K? That had nothing to do with computers. Remember what I told you it was? Because it's a cycle that's split into two halves, right? One side is male, one side is female. Y2K was Yahweh 2, T-O-O, -O, Kali. That's what Y2K was. And a year later, the World Trade Center's come down. Get it? These guys, they know all of this. They got the fucking playbook. Now, the next picture I'm going to show you is going to tell you how they have the playbook and how th that works. Patience. Let me go get that. Let me just bring that up for you. So, let's look at this. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a secret into searching things out. If you're ever looking for anything occultic or hidden, you go to deviant art. Because the deviants are the ones that know stuff. Interestingly enough, I told you the guys with the halos are the bad guys. So if you want to know something in pictorial form or you have a question, you go to you go to deviant art. And let's see. Who did this? Oh look. It's Bib993. Amazing. Anyhow, so let's look at the picture. Wow, this is Kali's crown, right? Kali's crown. And what does Kali's crown have first and foremost? Well, let's see. Where have we seen this before? Gee whiz, it it's, it's always seems to be the same thing. Amazing. But what's more interesting about it and why they know how things work is because if you look at what this thing is made out of, do you see what it is? It's a bunch of fractals. This isn't growing up, it's growing out in a way. They just show you that it's growing up. You see, each one is the same. Do you get it? You see it? It's a fractal. So if it's a fractal, it means it's a repeating, it's a repeating system. And so they know they know the fractal of this place and they don't want it to change. They want it to stay exactly the same so it goes round and round and they're in charge again. See? That's the key here. So it, it, I guess, I guess that all of this, Kali and COVID, why would you write that? Why would anybody write her name? A Hindu god. When was the last time the Christians ever read, read anything about Yahweh? They know it a little bit because it's in the Old Testament. But 
honestly, why would you take a Hindu goddess and, 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 and put COVID in the same sentence? Because it is the same fucking thing. It's all about the worship of her. It's what it comes down to. That's, that's what all of this stuff is. Period. From their vantage point, they love her. They think she's great. From ours, she's the destroyer. And I know all the ins and outs about how she's coming and she's destroying the old ways so that the, the, the new reality can come. It's not a new reality. It's a fucking repeat of the last one. If it was a new reality, you'd get rid of you-know-who, right? It's a specific group, the one that worships her completely. But somehow, she never seems to manage to remove that part of the situation or the equation, and so it just goes round and round. Period. It's actually, it's funny she has these things on her head because everything with them fuckers is sex-based. And if you look at a woman with these on, if you remember from the 60s and 70s, the Playboy Club, they were called bunnies and they all had these things on them. They had the rabbit ears. <laughs> so we can keep splitting hairs all day long and, and just breaking the shit down. But for somebody to write this, Kali and COVID, hmm, to put those two together, it, it, it's it's so far removed from anything. First of all, you'd have to know who she is to write about it. People on the page here didn't even know anything about her. People maybe have heard the name Lilith or Delilah or the Whore of Babylon. There's there's one group of people in this world that's racist. They segregate themselves away from everybody. I don't need to say the name. You know who it is. They don't interact with the Gentiles ever. They take the black people and they pervert them and they dis and they destroy their culture. But they use them as a front to push their racist agenda by getting those people to say that everybody else is racist. There's only one group. There's only one group that's racist here because they look down on every other race in the world as being a Gentile. So if you can't figure out who the real racist is, a group of people that has separated itself from the rest of humanity and refers to us as cattle... Then, then obviously you don't belong on this page. They refer to us as cattle. I'm in it too, even though I'm half Jewish. I'm not one of them. We're, they consider us cattle. We're dumb beasts of the field. We're, we're here to be used by them. Who's, who's the racist? Who's the racist? They don't mix in with anybody. They don't talk to anybody. They won't do business with you. And I'm not talking about all the I've done free work for You know? The... It wasn't like a major thing with us. We just we just talked about some stuff, and uh, it wasn't like a big deal. But the people that are in charge, those guys, okay, those guys. And the reason I keep harping on this is because people have finally have to get this through their head. There's one group of people that are running the entire show, and they're pulling all the strings. They're the motherfuckers from the Wizard of Oz who are hiding behind the curtain. And the curtain they're using this week is the black people. Maybe next week they'll use the fucking curtain. Well, they're using the Chinese too. That's their big curtain. But then the other curtain they're using, uh, the shower curtain, is the fucking black people. If they tried using the Asians a couple weeks ago, that didn't take off, so they dropped that. One group holds itself above everybody else and looks down at us in their own writings as cattle. Can the world not figure out who the fucking racists are? There's also the group that controls the banking establishments. The garment districts where they make all the clothes, Hollywood is not run by China. China is a fucking proxy for the international bankers, which Jones calls the cabal. Put an A on that, asshole. It's Kabbalah. It's the same group. Period, 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 period. Stop fucking mincing and dicing. Just say the fucking word. I'm so tired of this crap. And the Christians that run around and support these f assholes, they don't care about you. <laughs> they don't. They don't. You served your purpose well. America did your good job. You did your good job. You fronted and killed people in wars for those guys. And now they don't need you because now it's time for her. She's taken over and she's going to start the whole slate all fucking all over again. The whole fucking cycle is going to start because this is Ophiuchus. And she's going to kill all the bad guys so she, she can protect 
her wonderful, darling, little, innocent children. That's why. Again, ask yourself why a white person would be using this word and this word in the same sentence. It's not hard to figure out if, if you understand who's really pulling the fucking strings here.